Hello everybody, my name is Sebastian. And my name is Natalie. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Me and Natalie are here to talk to you and explain to you about mon mono hybrids and dihybrids. Let's start off with crossing. What exactly is crossing? Crossing is the breeding of two parents that make an offspring and that offspring usually will have characteristics of both parents. This means that both parents are genetically different. Now we will talk about Gregor Mendel. Who was Gregor Mendel? Gregor Mendel was a monk who dedicated most of his life to science and knowledge. He was also called and known as the father of genetics because of his important discoveries in biology. Yes, Mr. Mendel did discover heredity. He did this by experimenting on pea plants and uh, he did this by doing crossing slash self-fertilization to the plants. And he also came up with something called the law of segregation. Okay. It states when an organism makes gametes, each gamete receives just one gene copy, which is selected right. He also came up with the, the law of independent assortment. It states that an allele of two or more different genes gets sorted into gametes independently of one another. In simple words, the allele a gamete receives for one gene does not influence the allele received from another gene. George Mendel discovers that each trait is controlled by two factors alleles and genes. Alleles are different forms of the same gene. Genes are factors that are determine your traits. Now our next term is generation. There are three main types of generation. There's the parent generation, the F1 generation, and the F2 generation. The parent generation is the first organism to be crossed. The F1 generation is the offspring of the parent generation. And the F2 is the offspring of the F1 generation. But Sebastian, what are dominant and recessive? Well, Natalie, the dominant allele is more noticeable and more visible even when other alleles are present. They are represented by a capital letter and they are the stronger gene. While the recessive genes are always hidden when the dominant alleles are present and they are represented by a lowercase letter and they're always hidden. Homozygotes are organisms with two different types of alleles and are dominant traits. And homozygotes are organisms with two of the same allele, but could be recessive traits or dominant traits. A homozygous dominant would look like two uppercase letters and a homozygous recessive would look like two lowercase letters. A heterozygous would look like one uppercase and one lowercase, which one being dominant and one being recessive. A monohybrid crossing determines the allele's combination of an offspring for one particular gene. Today we are going to compare brown eyes and green eyes. What is the genotype of a brown eyed who marries a green eyed person who then produces a green eyed offspring? Since the allele for brown eyes are more dominant than green, we will cap label this as capital B. On the other hand, since the green eyes are more hidden, we will label this as lowercase b. Now that we make a cross with brown eyes, you will label this as heterozygous and homozygous recessive. Now we will make a Punnett square. First, we will write the dominant trait on the top along with the recessive trait on the side. As you can see from the chart or the Punnett square and from the percentages, you can see half of the time it will be green-eyed offspring and the other time will be brown-eyed offspring. Now that we know that, y'all probably don't know what dihybrid crossing is. So let me explain it. It's a mating process between two organisms that hold two traits. I'll be comparing a yellow giraffe with a long neck and an orange giraffe with a short neck. So the alleles for the first giraffe are dominant L, recessive L times dominant N, recessive N. And for my second giraffe are recessive SS and N. I'm going to draw a 4x4 four four table and put a loss of the two giraffes on the top side using the foil method, method to make sure I have a correct, the correct gametes, gametes. The acronym stands for first outside, inside last. This results in a genotype ratio of 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 and a phenotype of four yellow giraffes with a long neck and four yellow giraffes with a short neck, four orange giraffes with a long neck, and four orange straps with a short neck, which also happens to be a phenotype ratio of one to one to one to one. So to wrap it up, I was Natalie Arnold. I was Sebastian Romero. Thank you so much for your time and patience. 
I hope you guys learned something new today. I hope you have a good night. And remember to always wear your seatbelts.